everybody it's bg4x here and i'm coming at y'all with another quick video now i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible but i'm gonna explain how i find found the trade on gbp AUD. and this trade ended up making us about 70 to 80 pips really depending on where you got out at but i'll go ahead and mark off the high we're looking at the daily time frame right now to kind of see what's going on for the long term but as you can see this was the previous high price ended up breaking the high and we see there's a little bit of consolidation right here and price wicked to retest this a few times. So this little zone right here is now acting as a support. So when price comes down to the support, that's what I'm looking to buy. Now, what I do is when it finally does come down to the support, I go to the 15 minute time frame and I look for my entries. So for this week, we found another double confirmation, which pretty much led us to enter this trade. So as you can see, price is moving you know kind of on that zone right here and uh this was market open right here was when market opened now i seen you know price gapped up came down filled the gap and it came back to the top now personally i took my entry um i'll try to mark it off somewhere like right here somewhere in this little area i took my entry i believe it was like 0.9032 i'm thinking but um yeah, I took my entry right here. Pretty much what led me to take this entry is you can see that this the top of the zone is acting as resistance for now. So uh, I've seen consolidation right here. I've seen a very high up move to get some liquidity for buyers. And uh, I've seen this consolidation. So um, I went ahead and uh, my bias was that I'd sell this for the time being. So uh, I believe I've seen it break like a little level right here. And that's pretty much what um why I entered. But not only that, um, as you guys know, I like to trade W's and M's. So this is my W. Okay. Not only is it W, of course, it's a harmonic as well. So you can pretty much draw it out. I'm not gonna draw it out too perfect for y'all, but see we have a harmonic pattern as well. So up here, that harmonic shows we're looking for a sell. So I went ahead and took the entry. And uh, stop loss is a little bit above. Take profit was, I believe, right here. But it didn't hit my take profit. Um, I was trailing it. So I ended up stopping out at about plus 70 pips. So we made 70 pips on this trade. Um, pretty much a no-risk trade. Once it kind of got to that middle zone, I just trailed my stop to break even. And then uh, I woke up about 70 pips in profit. Uh, really an amazing feeling to wake up in your trades and the profits. But, yeah, not only that. We can see it was a harmonic, but it's our W. Okay, so y'all know I like to get my feel about swing high to swing low. And we can see that, look, we were targeting either 618.786 or the low. Now, price came down to the 886 level, well, almost at least. But um, the way I trade, I like to enter in between these. Now, keep in mind, I trade a lot differently than most other traders. So a lot of stuff you see me do might not you know it might counteract with what other people say but this is just what works for me like i said personally i've been using this for a long time and uh, i know what works the best for my preferences and what doesn't but anyway we can see that um price gain came down right here now if you wanted to you could have went ahead and went long when price hit that stop loss could have been at the one level take profit could have been up here and uh, yeah, you'd be in amazing profits right now. Um, obviously, once price kind of gets to the zone, we just go ahead and uh, make that a no risk trade. And uh, pretty much what I think is gonna happen <clears throat> is price gonna go up a little bit more, possibly hit this level. Uh, if not, I could see it coming back down and uh, kind of still consolidating because I really don't have a directional bias on this, honestly. Like I think. I'm just trying to catch these small moves. Uh, a lot of people, like the whole crowd saying, oh, where's, where's price going to go next? And I'm just catching these small moves and, you know, risking the right amount. But, uh, yeah, guys, I hope y'all learned something new from this. Um, I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all week. I hope y'all lock in some profits before this week's over. Stay profitable. Um, yeah, guys, I hope y'all have an amazing weekend as well. I'm pretty much done trading for the week. We clocked in at about, I believe it was 100 something pips this week that we caught. So 
another amazing week. I actually have an announcement later. So if you've been watching this far, uh, good job. I'm going to go ahead and post an announcement later. Something that I'm doing. And um, you guys will be able to get in on that if you're serious about trading. And if you're looking to uh, take your trading to the next level. So um, like I said, hope y'all enjoyed. Hope y'all learned something new. This is a pretty good move. Like I said, W formation. Also a harmonic. Um, catch the harmonic move. And then this is our W move. So kind of like a V here. You could catch the two different moves if they uh if they uh work with each other. So yeah guys, hope y'all enjoyed. I'll catch y'all later.